is the season for a little festive fun. While many of our celebrations this year will be smaller in size, that doesn't mean you can't still enjoy a warm cup of cocoa by the fire with a little something extra in it. But don't run to the store for a bottle of your favorite coffee-flavored liqueur because our next guest is going to show us how to make our own. Lindsay Lundby knows just how much those little homemade special touches can mean. So whether you want to add a little flavor to your Thanksgiving coffee or just want to make sure Santa will be staying warm on Christmas night, we have the recipes for you. That's right. I am so excited. Okay, so we're doing first a coffee flavored liqueur. Right, and this can be added to recipes. It can be drink on the rocks. It's, it's a perfect compliment, especially for these winter months where it's gonna get a little colder and it's super easy. I can envision myself doing this while I'm decorating the tree, while I'm looking for a Christmas tree, all exactly. kinds of reasons. Exactly, and Santa really loves coffee liqueur and cream on Christmas night. I did hear that, I mm -hmm. did hear that. Okay, so <laughs> this is one of the recipes. I, you were on the show a few months ago, and mm -hmm. we did uh, like getting ready like Christmas in July. Yes. And we made these liqueurs because they are a great gift too. Exactly. And this is another one that is a make ahead. It is, but it doesn't take as much time, so you still have time to do it now in order to give it for Christmas. It needs to set for about three to four weeks okay. just to really get the flavors in there. All right. So you've got plenty of time. So I'm on the stove here. Yes, we've and I've got already got four cups, of, four water. cups of water. We're gonna add two cups of brown sugar. Okay. And I have pre-measured <laughs> two Thanks. cups of white sugar. It always helps on TV when <laughs> things are pre-measured. Okay. Ooh. A quarter cup of um, espresso powder. You can use actual coffee if you'd like. Just mix them into the water, boil it, you know, um, do a really strong brew if you don't have espresso powder. So you can uh, boil that into your four cups of coffee. Okay. And then a lot of recipes call for vanilla bean. It's like $13 a bean. And when you're using two in a recipe, it makes it a lot more expensive. So I like vanilla bean paste. Okay. It actually has some of the vanilla bean in there. So you're gonna do two tablespoons of that. Is this something you can get at a regular you grocery store? You can get store? at the local grocery stores here. That's where Ooh. I picked that up. It smells amazing. It just imparts a lot more of that flavor. Okay. One tablespoon? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Yes. Okay. Ooh. It's gonna be a tablespoon per vanilla bean. Okay. If your recipe calls for that. So this is delightful. I already like this. And yes. It doesn't even have the liquor in it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. You're gonna stir that, you're gonna bring it up to a boil, medium high heat, mix it all in, make sure it's well combined. And then once it's on a medium, or once it's at a boil, you're gonna bring the temperature down and you're gonna simmer it for as long as possible. I did uh, my last batch for about an hour and a half. You want it really syrupy, but you don't want it too thick. This would also make a great ice cream topping yes. if you just left it like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so You can nice. absolutely do that and have like a coffee syrup. Yeah. Uh, but if you wanna make the alcohol version, Which you're I gonna mean? add two cups of vodka once that syrup is cooled down. Okay. And then uh, you're going to uh, let it set, put it in a jar. I stored mine in the cabinet and I just shook it every couple of days. Shook it every couple of days just to make sure it was staying just incorporated? To, yep, to keep it incorporated. So I'm not gonna add the vodka now, obviously, because we yes. haven't let this reduce all the way down. Exactly. But you came prepared because you already have some. So mm -hmm. can I taste it? Absolutely. Okay. It's amazing. I'm really excited. Santa's gonna love this too. And this is such a nice gift and this, in future years where we are getting together more, mm -hmm. what a great hostess gift when you go to a party or when you go to Thanksgiving and someone's hosting. This year, if you are doing something little with some family members, it, you know, maybe you've been kind of quarantining and you can go, I think this is a great gift. It's and also a great gift to drop off at the house doorstop of the people that you would be having holiday parties oh. with. Just a little thinking of you. I'm thinking Here's of you. Here's for next year. Enjoy or in, in the meantime. <laughs> right, right. Here's to get through this year without me. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. I'm like, cheers, <laughs> bottoms up? No, I'm just kidding. That's better than the name brand, I'm not gonna say right now, but that's better than this. It has a deeper flavor, I It think, really does. And getting that, that syrup really strong. Is the key. It's just, it's such a creamy mouthfeel, I, don't, I love it. I love that, okay. I'm gonna keep enjoying this while you walk okay. us through a Irish cream mix. Yes. And this is one, if you're going somewhere you want to leave some, a gift for somebody tonight, you can make it right now. Exactly. You can make it right now and put in your mm -hmm. coffee right now, maybe over break. Yep. All right. So one can sweetened condensed milk. And while you're sipping, if you could pour me out a cup and a half in the measuring cup there of an Irish whiskey. Now this is Irish cream. So you can use a Kentucky or a Canadian whiskey, but I think when you're doing an Irish cream, you should probably stick to Irish whiskey. 
Okay. You want how much of this? A cup and a half. You can do this to taste. If you like Irish cream, but you don't like that strong alcohol flavor, do a cup. You can play around with these flavors. This is a really fun recipe because who doesn't love on Christmas morning? I'm, Santa usually leaves me a little bottle of Bailey's or something in my stocking. Well, and now you can have a big bottle of homemade Bailey's in your stocking. And this would be a great thing for Santa at night, too. He needs to stay warm in that sleigh. Exactly. So, can of sweetened condensed milk, a cup of cream, and you're going to mix this. Uh, you don't want to mix it too voraciously. You want to do a really slow mix because you don't want the cream to whip. Nice. I like and that then word we need a teaspoon of the uh, espresso powder. So just, just kind yeah, of. Yeah, I lost the teaspoon in just, there. Just okay. <laughs> do a dash in there. Now you can add chocolate syrup to this as well, three tablespoons to a quarter of a cup, um, and that will give it a little bit richer flavor. I prefer mine without the chocolate, but a lot of people really like it because it just adds a, I don't know, it adds a, a nice. And then we would also add a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll. Uh, We'll get you that can in. Get that later. We'll I get lost that in later. a teaspoon for you. That so was you're going to stir this up. Now, one thing you'll see the espresso is kind of floating on the top. Mm -hmm. One thing, if you want to, you can warm up a little bit of the cream, put the espresso powder so in there really if you want it completely dissolved. And then with both of these, before you bottle them uh, to give away, I would recommend straining them. I use a cheesecloth just to get rid of any Make little impurities. That's why you're the hostess. That's why it's the most so is. clear. While you keep mixing that and finishing it up, I want to go back to these that you made. So this mm -hmm. is we That's did this on the rhubarb, show. rhubarb, peach, peach, strawberry, and plum. Okay, I'm gonna try the plum. Okay, the plum is a little bit thicker. It didn't have as much of the flavor that I want. I would try, try the the peach. the peach or the strawberry. The okay. strawberry is my favorite. I, well, I'm gonna just give everybody a less, little clue. And I got to try the strawberry one already. That's why I'm going for peach. <laughs> and the strawberry one was amazing. But with the plum, what I did is I ground up, after I strained it, I ground up all those plums that were just, had been soaking in the liquor for three months. Great, great addition to a drink, right? I'm thinking of Bellini with that. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, if you didn't see the segment we did in July on mm -hmm. these, go back and watch it. You're going to want to make these right away. Make the Kahlua in time for Christmas gifts and make the Baileys right now, but not before our show is done. We'll be right back after this.